Welcome back to another GCN training session. It is so good to be back doing these indoor sessions with you all. Thank you very much for choosing to join us for this session today. We have a whole host of guests that are going to be riding along in the pain cave with us today. We're going to be doing a lot of suffering. Now this is a 45 minute session, so one of the longer ones on the channel. So make sure you've got everything prepared. Make sure you've got a towel, bottle of water, maybe get a fan going as well, because it is going to get hot and sweaty. So if you haven't done that, pause the video, go and do it, then come back and join us. We're just going to be getting into our warm up now. And if you are new here, then this whole session is then on a perceived exertion of one to 10. One being real easy, like a walk in the park, 10 being the complete opposite, like a sprint in the park. You're running away from a dog chasing you. So that's kind of effort so we're going to be good doing today. But now we're just sitting at two out of 10, around 80 RPM. So nice and easy. This should be just a quick walk. You should be, shouldn't be too out of breath in two out of 10. So we're going to do a nice quick warm up to get us ready for the session. Now this session is kind of replicating climbs, especially kind of when you're racing. Climbs are hard. I hate climbs, but we need to train them. So this effort is kind of going through the motions, building up to the climb. The effort gets harder and harder. We do a 10 out of 10 effort. It's a short one, don't worry. And then instead of having rest straight after, we're gonna carry on going at an eight out of 10. So it is a really tough effort. Carrying on going after doing a full gas effort is really tough. So we're gonna be working on that today, but this session on the indoor trainer is perfect for it. But this is the kind of effort you could replicate out on the road as well. If you're hitting a climb, go up the climb hard and then just keep going. Not forever. Right, we're gonna ramp up now to a six out of 10. So up those gears a little bit. We still wanna sit around 80 RPM. But we're just getting a little bit harder, warming up those legs a little bit more. How are we all doing out there today? All good? Feeling good. Ready for the session? Yeah. We will be after the warm up. <laughs> Just under 30 more seconds left of six out of 10, then we're gonna bring it back a little bit to a four. Fifteen seconds to go. You spin those legs. Keep an eye on your power and your cadence if you have it. And if you don't, then just follow along with this video. Follow along with the leg speed that the guests are going, try and replicate that as well. Right, we're going to knock it back to a four out of 10 now. So a little bit easier, go down a few gears, spin the legs a bit more. So we're going to sit here for two minutes now, and then we're going to go back up. And Katie, how important is it to do a good warm up before efforts that are 10 out of 10 hard? Yeah, no, it's, it's super important. Like you don't really want to be going into a tough session like this with um, cold muscles and yeah good to get the heart rate up as well and and it kind of like mentally prepares you as well for the efforts to come yeah definitely. so very important and have, have you ever been in that situation I know how I have quite a few times in a race where you haven't yeah quite done a proper warm-up and you go into a race and it goes full gas <laughs> yeah. and you've can you explain like what it feels like when you're not warmed up properly yeah like there's been a time when um when the team van took the wrong turning to go to a race so we were late to start and then yeah like you just you just feel so unprepared and it's the that as soon as the you go off in the race like your body just screaming at you like <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> so it's very important to warm up yeah it's not a good feeling but hopefully the team bus isn't going to be late today and we've got time to do a proper warm up so we're going to do just over 30 more seconds at this four out of ten Keep those legs spinning, your heart rate should start to be rising a little bit now. Legs getting warm. Twenty more seconds. Ten. Three, two, one, ramp it back up 
to a six. So we're going to sit here for three minutes now at 80 RPM. Don't worry too much about the cadence if you are a little bit above or a little bit below. Just kind of the ballpark. So we're going to do a little bit of a shorter effort to begin with to get us ready for the session and then we're going to go into the full two blocks. So we've kind of got a mini block before we hit the main two blocks if that makes sense. So this first one, we're going to be three minutes at six out of ten, then one minute at eight out of ten, then 30 seconds at ten out of ten. Or maybe we'll mix it up and do that one out the saddle as well because I guess that's what you do when you get to the top of the climb. And then after the 10 out of 10, we're going to go back down to an 8. And then after that, we'll have a nice little rest before we do it all again. Just under two minutes now. Should be nice and warm. Before we get into the main set, you might want to ramp that fan up to get a bit more airflow because that really does make a big difference when you're doing these sorts of sessions. I've had it quite a few times where I've forgotten to put my fan on and you just end up overheating and your power just goes, goes down a lot. So hopefully none of that today. Hopefully we're nice and prepared, got everything we need to absolutely smash this session out of the park. Still at that six out of 10. One more minute to go at this intensity. Then we'll have a quick little rest and then get into the main block of the session. Getting hot already. We're already in the warm up. Twenty seconds to go. Then we're going to bring it back to that four out of ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back. Put down one or two gears. Find that four out of ten, and then we're going to sit here for two minutes now, around about the same RPM as well. So after this bit of rest, we're then going to get into the mini block. We're going to start off at a six. And we're going to hold that for three minutes and then we'll start ramping it up. One more minute till we get into the first block of effort. Now, if you have one of those indoor trainers that replicate climbing that can rise up at the front, and now's the perfect time to use that. When we get to that 10 out of 10, you can ramp it all the way up to 25%. If you want to make things harder for yourself. I think I'll stick to the, to the ground today. 30 seconds to go. We want to be making the most out of all these efforts. So when I start the countdown, you want to get into the right gear. Are we ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go into the six out of 10. 
up those gears, find that rhythm. We're here for three minutes now. So find a nice steady pace and try and stick to it. Try and hold a nice position on the bike as well. Just because you're riding indoors doesn't mean you can slack in that department. Try and be nice and aero. So when you come out on to do these efforts on the road, it just kind of happens naturally. I always used to have a really bad habit of staring at my head, you know, staring right in front of my wheel. And when I was racing, my coach basically put, put a slider in front of me, the other side of the room, and said I had to stare at the slider instead. Also, another little tip when you're indoor training is do it in front of a mirror. And then you can see exactly what your position look like, looks like. See if you look good or not. It's always a bit of morale when you look in the mirror and you're like, oh yeah, I look quite good today. Halfway through this effort now. Remember we're sitting at that six out of 10, around 80 RPM. Now this first effort is kind of testing the waters. You can use it to figure out what kind of gears you want to be in for the main efforts. Remember when it comes to doing that 10 out of 10 effort, we're gonna jump out the saddle. Now you can do the whole 30 seconds out the saddle or you can do maybe the last 15. It's always good to practice riding out the saddle, especially when you're in the indoor trainer, your bum does tend to hurt a little bit just from being sat down for so long. It's good to get up and have a little stretch around. Just tough. Good work, everyone. Nearly there. Pull your ramp it up. 30 more seconds. Fifteen seconds to go now before we ramp it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Eight out of ten for one minute. You should be dabbling in the red. You should be out of breath. It should hurt. Good work. Everybody's looking super strong in the room. Remember, if you haven't got cadence sensor and just just copy us just follow our leg speed also have a look at how everybody here is holding themselves on their bikes these guys ride the bikes day in day out they know what they're doing right 20 seconds to go now Fifteen seconds. Remember, up to you if you want to do the whole next thirty seconds out the saddle, or just do half of it. I'm just going to go for the last fifteen. Are we ready? In three, two, one. Let's go. Ten out of ten. Here we go. Come on. Up, 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 up. Thirty seconds. There we go. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Nice. 15 seconds to go. Jump out the saddle if you want. Good work. Keep it going, keep on top of it. Don't let that power drop. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Now stay on top of it, back of that eight out of 10. Click down a gear or two. Now this is the tough bit. We're at the top of the climb. Peloton's all strung out. This is where you're either at the front of the race, making everybody hurt behind you, or you're the one chasing on. Today, we're pushing the pace at the front. Good work. 30 seconds to go. 
Halfway, come on, keep on top of it. Whew. Good work. Gonna have a nice little rest after this. 15 seconds, come on. Don't let that power drop. And five, four, three, two, one. There we go, we can rest now. Keep spinning those legs. Got three minutes now at this two out of 10. And I can hardly talk after that. Whew. Well, if that didn't get you warm and hot and sweaty, I'm not sure what will. How did you find that first one, Katie? Yeah, it's pretty spicy. Like after after that um, 30 second effort, I was fully expecting just to have a chill. But no, you're like, yeah, <laughs> let's I go. Know. Yeah, eight out of ten, like. But that's what, um, like, when you're out on the road and you've got a climb, that's what usually happens. Like, the group that you're with or in the race, they just keep pressing. So yeah. it's good to train. So yeah. yeah, this is a great effort to do if you're trying to replicate a race. This is exactly what happens. It's either this or the race is just 10 out of 10 the whole time and you're just suffering, which uh, basically happens to me all the time. But today, we're the ones at the front of the race, dictating the speed. Whew. So two minutes now, just spin those legs nice and easily. Try to take some big deep breaths to get, get ourselves ready to do that all over again. But it is gonna be slightly different this time. Don't worry, I'll be here to talk you through all the session. Oh gosh, very, very sweaty. Whew. Need an extra fan. Just under a minute and a half now. Make sure to stay on top of hydration as well. Because if you're like us in the room, we are sweating quite a fair bit. So this one is a little bit different. We're gonna start off at a six, then we're gonna to go to an eight, then to a six, then to a nine, then to a 10, then to an eight. So a little bit longer this time. So maybe this is kind of replicating a climb that kind of has a few plateaus in it, kind of goes up a little bit, plateaus and flattens, and then up a bit more. So uh, we got ourselves ready for this. So we have, 30 more seconds of rest, and then we're getting straight back into it. Hopefully everybody's got their breath back and is raring to go. So in 10 seconds. Five, four, Three, two, one. Let's go back to number six. Six out of 10. Now, hopefully we didn't go off too fast in that first one and you can kind of replicate exactly the same power or speed you were going in that last one, in this one. So we want all our efforts to be just as strong. We don't want to go flat out in the first one and then die in the last one. We are probably gonna die in the last one but we still want to put the same power out. So remember we're about 80 RPM in this one. Just kind of ticking along. Remember to hold a nice position on the bike. Relax that upper body. Bend the arms, nice light grip on the handlebars. And again, always good to practice being in your drops as well in these sort of efforts. Especially when we get to the harder ones, when we really start to suffer. So we're halfway through this effort now. Another minute and 40 to go at this intensity before we start ramping it up. 
We all feeling okay out there? All good? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just good. about. They can't can't talk much. About, not too much talking. <laughs> that means they're suffering. <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down at the back? Oh, thumbs up. Oh, okay, we're all good. Just checking. Still got everyone. Right, we're into the last minute now. Trying to hold that power nice and steady. Nice, smooth pedal strokes. Try and be nice and efficient with your pedaling style. Do you want to waste any effort in your upper body by moving around? 40 more seconds to go. Good work. Hopefully we've kind of settled into this effort nicely. Not too sore for, from the first one. All right, 20 seconds to go. Then we're gonna ramp it back up to an eight. I wanna click down a few gears. 10 seconds. Are we ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Ramp it up to an eight. Now I'm gonna be sitting here for two minutes this time. Two minutes at an eight. Now, if you are really, really hating this session, you can blame Connor Dunn for this because he wrote this one. So go and send Connor some abuse if you are finding this session really tough. Minute and a half to go. And keep on top of hydration if you can. These efforts are quite long. And if you want to be matching with us and get a red GCN water bottle, then head over to the GCN shop. Be a little uh, red water bottle team. One minute left now. Minute down, minute to go. And then we're going to bring it back to a six. So this is kind of like our mini plateau in the middle of the climb. I do always find it hard. Changing speeds all the time. You kind of want to Especially when you're on the climb, you just kind of want to sit at, at your pace and just grind along. But it is really good to be flexible and adaptable to climbs like this. You can stay with your riding buddies, stay with the club ride. These sessions are going to make you stronger. And you'll be the first one to the climb. Then when it comes to the descent, you can have a clear run. 15 seconds to go. Now we're well halfway through the session, so you're doing really good. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's bring it back. Six out of 10. Now we're sitting here for three minutes. So get nice and comfortable. You might want to mix it up in the drops for a little bit. Because it is hard to stay in that same position for the whole 45 minutes. That's why it's nice to do a few efforts out the saddle as well. It's just to mix it up. Remember, we've got a guide of around 80 RPM for this effort. Now, I know everybody has a slightly different rhythm or cadence they like to ride at. But if cadence is something you want to work on, then we have plenty of cadence sessions on the channel, purely focusing on cadence work and not so much power cadence is extremely important to focus on as well so maybe after this session you still got a little bit left in the tank and you want to go and do that one I'm not sure I'm gonna have anything left after this session just under two minutes left of this intensity Wow, it's very hot in this pain cave today. Whew. Good work. Coming into a minute and a half now. Oh, 
fucking super strong. But after this effort, this is when the really hard work starts. Because we're going to go straight into a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Ouch. This is going to hurt. We're going to go from a 9 to a 10 to an 8. Whew. Now we're in the last minute of this now. Still feeling good, everyone? Definitely feeling the burn now. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, it is a very tough session. So if you're finding it really hard, don't worry, we all are too. But at least we're all in it together. We're all suffering, enjoying the pain. And do you know what? We're going to feel 10, 10 times better after we finish the effort. Our endorphins are going to be buzzing through the roof. And then you can go and enjoy the rest of your day having accomplished something. 20 seconds. Are we ready for a 9 out of 10? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, Katie. Katie's ready. <laughs> <laughs> Always ready, Katie is. Right, here we go. 10 seconds. You want to get in a bit of a harder gear for this one? Remember, 9 out of 10. Here we go. Ten out, 9 out of 10 for one minute. So this should be nearly full gas. You are nearly, nearly touching full gas. But we all want to leave a little bit left for the 10 out of 10 that is coming straight out of this effort. And if I stop talking, you know why. It's because I'm suffering and I've got sweat in my eyeballs. Halfway through. Good work, come on. Keep pushing. Up, 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 up. 20 seconds to go, come on. Right. Get ready for this 10 out of 10. If you want to jump out the saddle, then feel free to do so. Oh, ouch. Right, five, four, three, two, one, 10 out of 10, here we go. 30 seconds, come on, up, 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 up. Come on, leave it all out there. Good work, looking strong. 20 seconds to go. Good work. Halfway, come on. Don't let that power drop. 10 seconds. Nice, good work. All the way, all the way. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to that eight. Eight out of 10, keep on it. I know your legs wanna stop. Do not let them stop. Eight out of 10. One more minute, come on. Good work, we've got this. Embrace the pain or just block it out. In your head, just say, nah, it doesn't hurt. Can't feel any pain. There we go, come on, halfway. This is the hardest bit now. Good work. Nearly there, come on. All the way. Don't let that power drop off. Ten seconds to go, come on. Every second counts. Three, two, one, and we can rest. Back to that two out of ten. Really nice, easy pedaling now. Oh. Oh my word. That hurt a lot. I've got so much sweat in my eyeballs. Stings quite a bit, actually. Right, let's focus on this bit of rest that we have now. Spin those legs nice and easy. Oh my gosh. Ouch. I'm gonna take some fluid on board. This is a good opportunity to. Still never understand how the rest 
go so fast, but the effort feels like it takes so long. <sighs> Nearly halfway through the rest already. <clears throat> now basically, what we've done just then, we are going to repeat exactly that in 1 minute 46. And that then is our last effort and we are done and we're going to go into the cool down. But we have that last block of effort to go. Now, hopefully you all felt really strong in that last effort. Everybody in the room here looked really strong and I'm sure you all did at home as well. Now we're going to try the best as we can to match our powers in that last one. You want to start off strong and hold that power. Do not, not let your power drop. And if it is starting to drop and there's nothing you can do, then just bring it back 10, 15 watts, hold that power and see how long you can hold that for. Now we've got one minute of rest to go. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go into the next effort. Spin those legs nice and easy, get all that lactic acid out. Hopefully your heart rate is starting to come down a little bit. It's not going to come all the way down because we are so hot in here. 30 seconds now. So we're going to start off at a 6, then go to the 8, and then a 6, and then a 9, and then a 10, and then an 8. Right then, 15 seconds to go. I want to start getting in the right gear now for this effort. You want to be in your big ring, your little ring, whatever gear you want. Alrighty, in four, three, two, one. Let's get back on it. So starting off at a six out of 10. We're going to hold this for three whole minutes. Now this first 30 seconds might be quite tough. Your legs are probably still in recovery mode. They want you to stop pedaling. You're going to fight against that and find a nice rhythm to sit at. A nice intensity, nice and smooth. Now we're into the back end of the session. This is where, you know, you're gonna see faults. You might start rocking and rolling your shoulders, but make sure to keep your core engaged, your arms nice and relaxed on the bike. Nice light grip and get in your nice aero position and try and hold it as best as you can. Nearly a minute down on this effort now. Remember to keep a nice cadence as well. <clears throat> We've obviously got 80 RPM as a guide, but you kind of choose what cadence you want to sit at. If you feel more comfortable sitting at a bit of a higher cadence and you do that, probably wouldn't recommend going any lower than 80. Although if you are going up a really steep climb, your cadence is going to be lower than 80. So it's not a bad thing if you are sitting lower than 80. Just doing a bit more of a gym session or a strength session. Right, halfway through this first effort. One minute to go now. Keep that effort nice and smooth. Hopefully we're all kind of keeping the same power output as we did in that very first effort that we did. That feels like quite a long time ago now. But at the same time, it feels like this session is going quite fast. I feel once you're pedaling hard and doing lots of different intervals, the efforts do go by pretty quickly. Now we're in the last 30 seconds of this effort already. Now that I've rambled on a whole load of gobbledygook. 20 seconds to go. Then we're gonna hit that eight out of 10. So you wanna start thinking about ramping it up. Think about the gear you want to be in. Make it a nice smooth transition and try and get into that eight out of 10 as efficiently and as quickly as you can. In four, three, 
two, one, let's go, ramp it up. Now I'm gonna sit here for two whole minutes. This is gonna feel hard. If your legs are hurting, that's very, very normal. Good work. Now just hold that effort as best as you can. Good work. Everyone's looking super strong, super smooth and efficient, very composed. After this effort, remember, we're gonna have that little bit of a plateau where we bring it back to a six, ever so slightly. And even that six now, it's not gonna feel like the six that we did at the start. It's gonna feel harder because we've got all that effort in our legs. If you calculate up, all the amount of work we've done at, at six and above, which is a hard effort, then it does calculate to a fair amount of work. So you're getting a really good session in by doing this. I'm so out of breath today. Right, 45 seconds to go. Nice and smooth and efficient. Keep that power up, don't let it drop. Good work. 30 seconds to go, come on. Keep on top of it. Absolutely smashing it out of the park. We are so nearly done with this effort. Let's make this a really good one. We're gonna end on a high today. We've got 10 seconds till we bring it back to a six. Five. Four, three, two, one, and bring it back to a six. I'm gonna sit here for three whole minutes. Oh, Connor, why have you done this to us? Now my legs are just telling me to stop, but we're gonna keep on going, keep pushing through that pain. If you wanna have a little dance out the saddle, you can do. We sat the saddle for about 30 seconds, just to mix it up do get quite sore. It's good to mix up. Just give your back a bit of a stretch, your legs a bit of a stretch as well. Good work. Helps break up the effort as well. I've got two minutes to go. And we're on, all on the Zwift Hub trainers today, which are a really good affordable trainer if you are looking for a new one. I feel like the drive on turbos are so much better than the ones where you leave your wheel on. The wheel on ones kind of burn out your tires, especially if you don't have a proper turbo tire, which I found out the hard way. My tire was pretty much square after some efforts I did, especially if you're doing the sprinting efforts, sprintables. Right, we are one minute 20 to go at this six out of 10. Solid work so far. We've got, only got six minutes left of the whole session. So a fair amount of that is hard, hard pedaling. Still got the hardest bit to go, unfortunately. But after that, we're gonna do a nice cool down. And they're all set for the day. All set for the evening on the sofa. Depends what time of day you're doing this effort. But it definitely does help knowing that you guys at home are suffering along with us. Makes us push that extra bit harder. Right, 30 seconds to go now. And then we're going to ramp it up to a 9 out of 10. Oh, it's going to be spicy. This is going to be like Vindaloo spicy. I think that's a spicy curry anyway. Not really into spice. I like this kind of spice, just not curry kind of spice. Right. Better get serious now. Five seconds to go. 
Let's get that gear sorted. Two, one. Let's go nine out of 10 for one minute. Up, 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 up. Come on, let's go. Good work, that's it. Looking super strong. Now this is gonna hurt big time. Just be ready for it. Remember we're at a nine out of 10. We're still gonna have to step it up to a 10 out of 10. And we get on those drops if you want. Get nice and narrow. 30 seconds to go. Good work. Nice, 20 seconds, come on. Keep on top of it. Here we go, 10 seconds to go. Remember you can jump out the saddle if you want. Are we ready? Five, three, two, one, here we go. 10 out of 10, it's spicy. All the way, come on, this is our last hard effort. We can do it, come on, nearly halfway. Looking super strong, come on, up, 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 up. Get everything out. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down, ease up a little bit. Still sitting at eight for another minute. Come on. Keep on top of it. Good work. Don't ease up too much now. This effort counts just as much. Good work. I know your legs are telling you to stop, but keep pushing through it. Thirty seconds to go. Come on. All the way. Every single second counts. Nearly there. Come on. Fifteen. Big old push now. Ten seconds. All the way. Come on. Up, up, up. Three, two, one. And we can rest. Oh gosh, I don't know if I can even do a two out of 10 after that. Oh, if you can, try and keep those legs spinning as best as you can. Now, we have just over two minute cool down left. Obviously you're more than welcome to stay on for a little bit longer to cool down a little bit more because I know I'm gonna need it after that sort of session. Oh, Katie, what were your thoughts on that? Savage. <laughs> that is. Um, yeah, those. Um, that final minute kept catching me out. The after the full ten out of ten, thirty seconds. Like, but like I said earlier, it's so important just to keep going. And yeah, it was like you said, spicy. It was definitely <laughs> spicy. And you kind of think, oh, the hardest bit is going to be the ten out of ten. But then you forget the eight, eight yeah. out of ten kind of feels like a ten yeah. out of ten. So yeah, really tough session. But hopefully we all made it through in one piece, but that was a seriously tough session. Remember, we have plenty of other sessions on the channel, depending on what you want to do. We've got warm-up ones, cadence ones, long, hour long, above an hour long. And then I think we've got like 15 minute sessions on there as well. So if you are short on time and just want to get a little something done, you can go and smash that one out and then get on with your day. But I think I speak for us all in the room. We all feel better after doing that, I think. Maybe give us like another 10 minutes and then we'll feel better. Probably need a bit of a sit down after this session because that was seriously tough. But if you did make it through the session, let us know what you thought of it down in the comments section below and what you know, you'd like to see next on the channel. Is there some sessions that you really enjoy that you want to see more of? or even ones that you're like, mm, no, I'm not really bothered about those sessions. But yeah, let us know down in the comment section. It is always good to see in the comments that you are actually riding along and we're not just wasting our time suffering on our own in this room. But we've got another 15 seconds left of the session now. And then we can go and get along with the rest of our day. 
But thank you all so much for choosing to join us for this session and riding along with us. Sorry for the amount of pain, but it was a really good session. And hopefully we'll see you back in the next one.